guys, welcome back to our channel. Hi YouTube. So we are finally getting around to doing our Q&A video that we have been meaning to do for quite a while now. Um, the kids are in bed, so we thought we would get started and answer these questions. We did a couple posts in the community section um, on our page and just asked for you guys to leave your questions. So we are going to answer those now. Mm. Um, I think we'll just like take turns answering them. Okay. Does that work? Okay, I'll do the first one because the second one is about you, so. All right. The first one says, I've briefly heard you guys mention a past son in your videos. If you feel comfortable, could you explain if that's true? I think you are the strongest hardworking mom and take such good care of your kids. Thank you. Um, yes, we lost our first son, Carson. He was stillborn at 24 weeks in 2008. So that is who you hear us mention. He was born um, almost, it's been like, it was like 11 months almost to the day before Jackson was. So that is who you have heard us mention. The next question. All right. What is Chris's job? And it's a two-parter. Do you guys want any more kids? So first part, my job, I am an assistant project manager for an electrical trade company. We do commercial electrical. Um, right now, I manage about a million dollars in the Phoenix Valley. So, and then do oh, we want more also, kids? Sorry, you're teaching because a lot of people ask about that. Oh. I hear you. A lot of people I thought you were teach, a teacher. Uh, electrical trade for the uh, apprenticeship program to become a journeyman for electrical. Uh, yeah, that's just on the side. Do you guys want any more kids? We have decided that. That's a negative. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. That, that was. That was... <laughs> it's so, so train of thought. Uh, way to go. Way to ruin the video. He okay. said, We have decided. Um, we decided that uh, we've had enough kids and <laughs> enough. I just got snipped, so we cannot have any more at this time. I always laugh because it makes me think of that meme that says, my husband and I decided we don't want to have children, like wish us luck, we're telling them tonight at dinner. <laughs> so, okay, next question. What's you and your family's go-to meal? Um, Probably anything with chicken. Definitely anything. I make a lot of chicken, so <laughs> one of my go-to meals is probably um, oven roasted chicken and veggies because I feel like you can do it so many different ways. There, you're the next one. We're just taking turns. All right, this is from Chloe, and it says, do you miss not having all four seasons? Well, for the last, what, 14 years? I've lived in places where they've only had two seasons. So um, I miss having four seasons from my childhood, but now we just pretty much get summer and spring, so. Which I don't mind, because yeah. I get tired of the rain. So I like having the nice weather most of the year. So I don't miss it because if we want to go see the snow or cooler weather, we can just drive up to the mountains, so. Um, the next question, are you guys doing any cool trips coming up? You should probably say it's from Haley. So. Oh, are we? See, I didn't say it on the first few people. Okay. From, okay, so Haley asks, um, are you guys doing any cool trips coming up? We were supposed to go to Ohio in July. We don't have all the kinks on that trip worked out yet, so hopefully it's still going to happen um, with everything going on with the COVID-19. So um, as of now, that's our only trip that we have tentatively planned. Um, and then hopefully, um, another beach trip sometime in the near future. Yep. All right. Uh, this is by... I Set Madison on Fire. <laughs> I Set Madison on Fire is the name. All right. What do you each... What do each one of your kids want to do when they're... Older. Older. Sorry, it's like a glare. Um... I don't really know. They kind of change it all the time. Yeah. Like, Jackson definitely thinks right now that he's going to be a pro gamer. Yeah. Or a pro athlete. Yeah. So. Um, Sorry, we're going to have to break the truth to him one of these days. But Cohen, when he was little, used to want to be a construction worker. So he might turn out to be an electrician. So like You that. never know. And then Aniston, who knows with her, but we will have them maybe do like videos someday. Someone asked on TikTok if we could have them each do a video like 10 facts about me. So maybe we can do something like that or like a Q and A with the kids. Yep. Um, the next one is from Lauren. It says, what is your all time favorite makeup product? 
Oh, dang. Well, probably a good thing Ooh, that you man, didn't answer my, that one. <laughs> my all-time favorite makeup one. product. I'll tell you what. I love wearing some mascara, okay? Just amazing. Um, I don't know. I'd have to probably go with... Um, Either the Too Faced mascara, the Better Than Sex mascara, or wow. maybe the mascara brand foundation that I wear. I really like both of those. Um, this one, all I know it's like your turn. If you want to read it, I can answer all right. it. So this one's from Courtney. It says, do you think you'd work when the kids get older? Um, I don't know because they have their modified year-round school schedule. <laughs> What are you doing? They have their modified year-round school schedule, so it kind of just depends. It will we'll see how this YouTube thing plays out. If it will be worth it for me to go back to work when they're older, um, Aniston will be in kindergarten next year, but she will be doing half-day kindergarten. So um, as of now, I don't know. We'll have to kind of play it by ear and see. Um, what made you? So Julia asks, what made you want to be a stay-at-home mom? I grew up with a stay-at-home mom and. I was just hoping that I could be lucky enough to have the opportunity to stay home with my kids. I'll be honest, they drive me crazy some days, but I'm really lucky that I get to stay home with them and be the ones to like raise them and take care of them. And they're only little ones. So, and I think this kind of quarantine has given Chris a nice glimpse in what our days are like. Crazy. Yeah. It's all smooth sailing. Um, this one. All right. Uh, Kelly asks, what is the hardest thing about parenting and what is the best thing? So I would think the hardest thing is, I don't know, parenting is pretty easy. <laughs> it's pretty easy, did you say? Yeah. Um, I think the whole damn thing's hard. No, it's, I guess, uh, mm. when your kids are not doing their best. Like kind of when you know mm. that they're capable of more and they're just not like putting in the effort. Yeah. Because we've had issues with that lately with Jackson. And then what was the second part of the question? Um, what's the best thing? The best thing is seeing when they succeed. I agree. Um, the next one is from Jenna. It says from Portland here, you said you were from Washington. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did your whole family move to Arizona with you? Oh my gosh, you're from Portland. So I grew up in Longview, which is not far from Portland, um, about an hour away. So we're closer to like Vancouver and Portland than we are Seattle. Um, we moved down here almost eight years ago. It'll be eight years in June. And at the same time, my parents moved down here, um, and they started out as snowbirds and they only spent their winters in Arizona. And now they live here full time. Um, my brother had also moved down with his girlfriend and her kids, but they actually just went back to Washington for a job opportunity. And they just went back the beginning of March. So it's just us and my parents. And then we've made a lot of obviously amazing friends here that have basically become family. Uh, we're on this one. All right. So Aaron asks, do you plan on possibly getting another dog in the future to keep your current dog company? So I'm going to assume that this happened before we got Bella. No, this was a month mm -hmm. ago. So maybe they haven't seen Tilly in the okay. videos. So yes, we have two dogs as it is right now. Um, we have Tilly, who's a French Bulldog, Boston Terrier mix. And then we have Bella, who is a, a Golden Doodle. Yeah, Tilly just turned three in mm -hmm. January, and Bella will be six months on April 11th, so we don't plan on getting any other no. dogs. We're good with two. I think it's great because they keep each other company, and they play really well together, um, and after we got Bella, it made me realize how much I missed having two dogs, but I think two is a good mm. limit for us. <laughs> okay, so the next one is from Erica. It says, how did you and Chris meet? Did you originally plan on moving to Arizona or is there somewhere else you guys would want to live? Okay, so there's several questions in her comments. I'm gonna answer those first couple ones and then I'll go back to the others. So we met on MySpace of all places. Um, I think he messaged me, he contacted me and I think it was because it was I was suggested as someone in your area. Yeah, right? so um, MySpace used to have this thing where you could search people that are in your area. And so I was bored on post. Um, I just got to Fort Lewis, didn't have any friends or anybody to hang out with. So I was kind of looking to hang out with people around the area. Um, I actually seen her 
she was in like a picture it looked like she was in scrubs with a face mask on so i was a dental assistant i was, I was like she's got a job so <laughs> <laughs> you know it's someone to talk to so oh my gosh <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, so it says, did you originally plan on moving to Arizona or is there somewhere else you guys would want to live? Um, we did not originally plan on it. After he got out of the army, he had a really good job at a lumber mill and then they laid an entire shift of people off. So we kind of decided we would do a fresh start and move somewhere new and get away from the rain. So that's how we ended up in Arizona. Um, for me, I love it here. I love the weather. I love everything about Arizona and I couldn't ever imagine living anywhere else. I love you. Is there anywhere else you'd want to live? Well, yeah. Where? It's a fair question. <sighs> I mean, there's a lot of places I wish I could live, but I probably would never live there. Well, it says... Like being in Hawaii and stuff like that. Like living on a beach. Well, yeah, I'd want to live in Hawaii, too. Well, you asked. Yeah, I know. It says, where else would you guys want to live? So I mean, that would be a place. I mean, twist my arm. I guess I would leave and live in Hawaii. Um, and then another part of her question says, would you ever dye your hair a different color? I have only ever done like blonde and I haven't had highlights in like four or five years. So, um, probably nothing other than blonde cause I'm boring. Probably not for me too. Um, back in the day I did have the frosted tips. Did you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We gotta find a, a picture of that. I'm a big Backstreet Boys fan back in the day, you know. My brother had him too. And then, do you plan on working in the future or continue to be a stay-at-home mom? As of now, continue to be a stay-at-home mom. I'm hoping I can do, like, the YouTube thing mm -hmm. and maybe do, like, some influencer-type stuff um, through our Instagram. And then you are... Next question. Okay. This is a several part. All right. It's also several parts. So, this is from Taylor. She said, did you originally plan on having three kids? Um, we planned on having an equal amount because Christy has to deal in equals. So like equal four, numbers. Four kids, or was the next number was six, so we stayed at four. Because um, Carson and then our three. And then uh, where would you want your dream uh, location to live if money was not an option? All right. Uh, Bora Bora, by my own island, be away from everybody else. Can I come too, or you mean like literally no, by no, yourself? No, no, I'm going by myself. <laughs> Mine would be like Hawaii or something like tropical. All right. Like um, Bora Bora. Or was it love at first sight for you and Chris? I would say yes, but we were really young when we met. We were 19. So we actually, our first date, I picked her up in my, my 95 oh my Pontiac Trans Am Firebird. Okay. Picked her up. We went to her friend's house for a barbecue. We'd actually never said anything to each other, but hi on the way over. And then we didn't talk on the way over. No, we I don't. Didn't. I have a bad memory. And then when we were at her friend's house, I actually wrote a note. I remember the note. Yes. I think I still have it somewhere. So, yeah. Yeah. Kind of went off from there. I mean, like, I feel like, yeah, it was uh, a MySpace meeting. And we hung out. I think it was like we were both nervous to hang out for the first time, especially going to like my like, friend's house. Going to either like say you're going to your first YouTube meetup, right? Or like a, a convention or you're going to your first TikTok meetup, right? Like you're nervous going into that situation. You have no idea who you're going to talk to. It was like because it was kind of it's kind of like so a, it was blind like a date blind almost. Date, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um and then the worst gift you've ever received. I'm guessing you're meaning from each other. Um, oh, I think it could be anything. Okay. So if it's not from each other, then that's good because I won't get in trouble then. So, um, <laughs> uh, I think the worst gift I ever received was I used to get handmade, knitted out sweatshirts from my grandma, like Aww. for Christmas. She'd like crochet all the kids these sweaters, and like they'd be. There weren't even a sweater, really, because there was a ton of hole. Like, you guys know how yarn for crochet is, right? It stretches out, and there's these big gaps. So, yeah, it just looked like I was wearing kind of like some see-through, uh, um, what are those leggings? Uh, the fishnets? Like fish. <laughs> Looks like I was wearing a fishnet sweater, okay? Um, what's your worst gift you've ever received? I'm um, not going to go into detail, but a box of cereal as a birthday gift when I was a kid. Sweet. Yeah, true story. Um, worst gift you've ever give to someone? I don't know. 
I don't think we I've ever yeah, well, not we to don't sound really like me, but I don't think I've ever given a like even at what, white elephants, we don't intentionally give like bad gifts. Like we try like his company does every Christmas like a white elephant and we try to pick something that someone it's useful, not yeah, like a gag gift. Like so one year like, he do did, we do gag gifts very often? Starbucks gift cards and like coffee mugs and this last year he did like a beer caddy, like a leather beer caddy with six bottles of beer in it. Um, and then if I'm ever in doubt about a gift, I do cash or gift cards because I feel like that's better than yeah. giving someone they something they don't want. So like Jackson's kind of at the age where any birthday party he goes to now, it's just cash because I mean, he's almost 11. A lot of his friends have turned 11 or are turning 11 soon. So they're like out of the toy stage. All right. Um, who picked the kids' names? So we kind of both went yeah. back and forth on several different names for the kids. Well, and I feel like with Jackson, like I came, I really liked the first name and then he chose the middle name. Yeah, because my like name kind of for Jackson name originally was Colton because I was a huge Colts fan. He likes the Indianapolis Colts. And so, but I went with middle names and we used middle names of family members. For so. Cohen and Jackson. Aniston... We kind of use my grandma's. Well, for her first name, first but not name. her for middle name. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what made you want to move? Okay, this, this is, is from Riley. Riley. What made you want to move to Arizona? Um, we wanted a fresh start, and oddly enough, like when we moved to Arizona, I had never been to Arizona before. Had you? No. Or you'd gone to the Grand Canyon, right? I drove through it. Yeah, like I had never been to Arizona at all before, and we wanted a fresh start and. Really, honestly, I grew up in Washington State my entire life, and I was tired of the rain. Mm -hmm. So, let me scroll down. Okay, this is from Hannah. It says, what is your favorite vacation you went on? Where do you want to go in the future? Like, favorite vacation together? Okay, so or... my favorite vacation was Iraq. Lots of sand. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would say my favorite vacation was when we went to Hawaii for the first time. Together. Yeah, I would agree. Maui was my favorite vacation. We went when Jackson was 11 months. Mm -hmm. and that I was actually lost Jackson in the water. Okay, that's a, we'll do a story time on that. He didn't lose him. Yeah. We sound like the world's best parents right now. Um, where do you want to go in the future? Uh, Bora Bora. I want to just go anywhere tropical. I'd love to go back to Bora Bora Hawaii. I know Bora Bora is tropical. I would go anywhere tropical. So like... I say Hawaii because I have family in Hawaii. My cousin and her husband and kids live in Hawaii. So it'd be really awesome to go back and get to visit them. But their oldest daughter is the same age as Aniston and they have never met in person. And Aniston talks about her all the time. She's always like, my cousin Harper, my cousin Harper, I wanna go over to Harper's house. So I would love to go back to Hawaii. Cohen and Aniston have never been. Jackson hasn't been since he was 11 months old. There's another section if we went through all those. Yeah, there is. Um, so I would love to go back to Hawaii someday, but like I said, anywhere with a beach. So our next like beach vacation will probably be like California since we're so close. I don't know where the second section okay. is. Did we go through all of those? Yes, we did. Okay. So that is part one. So now we got to find the rest of the questions. But if you feel like we didn't answer a question that you were trying to ask us, down in the comments below, it would be the best place to ask those questions and maybe mm -hmm. we do like a part two to this. Yeah, and if you guys want to see like a part two of the kids or something. Okay, so here is the part two of the questions. So is it my, my turn? turn? Or no? You just read the vacation, Okay, right? fine. No. <laughs> okay, this is from Madison. She says, when are Jackson, Annie, and Cohen's birthdays? I have said their birthdays several times. Do you want me to give the actual month and date or just the month like I think a lot of people know when their birthdays are anyways because like we posted when Annie's was on TikTok like yeah I feel like it's fine for okay birthday. so Jackson is July 14th Annie is January 29th and Cohen is May 5th so Cohen is the next one coming up he is a Cinco de Mayo baby so and then mine mine's May 9th okay P.O. Box is open so. oh my god <laughs> And then Christina's is October 25th. Oh, Christina. Yeah. Is what? October 23rd. Or 25th. He always does that. 25th. He always says the 23rd just to see if he can get a reaction out of me. Yep. Okay, so you are... I've done that for years, by the way. He has, seriously. Your... Oh, I clicked the calendar. Yours is right okay. here. Okay. Chris's 
a favorite meal. Oh, wait, Christy sorry. We go ahead, read that one because I skipped that one. All right, this accident. is from Taylor. It says, Chris's favorite meal you cook. Um, this has got like three questions. So the fav her favorite meal that she cooks for me. Or I don't, am I supposed to say? No, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, Chris's favorite. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Feel me. Favorite meal you cook. Cause this would be a question to you. I would have to say that my favorite meal is probably the meatloaf. The cheese stuff meatloaf? Yeah. Good um, to know. What do you put in your salads? Who put some chicken? Some she ham. says random. I know, but I need new things to put in mine. I love it. <laughs> so, like, uh, we did do some chicken, some salad, uh, chicken salads, and then um, she started putting crab imitation crab in my last couple salads, and some ham, and they're all pretty good. Yeah. We like a lot of. I do a lot of veggies in the salad too. So, um, tomatoes, mushrooms, cucumbers. Sometimes we'll do bell peppers chopped up. We love cheese, so any kind of cheese. We have feta, any kind of cheese. Um, and then I like onions or green onions and like avocado in mine. He's not a fan, really, of those. He'll do green onions sometimes, but yeah. he's not an avocado I'm fan. I'm not an avocado fan. Um, Abby wants to know, what's all the kids' middle names? Do you want to say it like? Jackson okay. Scott, Cohen Richard, Aniston Kate. Yes, and Jackson and Cohen are named after family members, and then... Anison's middle name is not after anyone. It's just a name we really liked, but her first name is after like his grandma. So she still has a family name, just not a family middle name. Okay. On this one. Uh, Gianna says, what are the advantages and disadvantages of being a stay-at-home mom? Well, I'm not going to actually answer that one. I'm going to pass that one over to Christy. Um, I would say an advantage of being a stay-at-home mom is that you don't have to pay for childcare. So I know daycare and all that is really expensive. I'm able to go to all their school events. I get to go on like a lot of field trips. I'm always able to go to practices and baseball games and stuff like that. Um, and I get to volunteer in their classes a lot, which I really like to do. Um, one of the disadvantages I would say would be the 24 seven, like you don't ever get a break. And I know working moms technically don't get a break either, but I feel like you at least get that adult interaction and like adult conversations. So that's why I feel like YouTube and TikTok has been a good outlet for me because I can interact and talk with other people and have adult conversations. Um, and I'm also really lucky that I have some really good friends here locally and my best friend just lives down the street. So, um, and she's also a stay at home mom. So luckily I have her and we can kind of vent to each other whenever we need to. All right. Um, what is your favorite thing about each of your kids personality wise? Well, yeah, I would say Jackson is his compassion. Yeah, he's very compassionate. He, he, uh, he puts on like a hard demeanor sometimes, but he is like the sweetest kid. And like he gets no, like his teacher says how great he is. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think he's ever so, like their school. Like a white day is like perfect. You didn't get any warnings or anything. And since he started this school in kindergarten, I don't think he's ever had anything other than a white day. And um, he's a people pleaser for sure. Yeah, it definitely is. He always wants to make everyone else happy. Cohen is his his whole personality. For oh Cohen, my god, yeah. that kid! He's just, um, he's just always happy. And we were watching a video from him being a little baby, like less than two years old. Yeah. And he's literally the same exact kid as he was. <laughs> yes. Um, like he's, he can be sad one minute and then like less than 30 seconds later, he's the happiest kid in the world. Yeah. He always has a smile on his face. And I think he always is thinking of others. Like you could take him to the store and be like, here, you have $20 to spend, pick something out. And he's going to constantly be looking for something like, well, Jackson would really like this. Annie would really like this. And if you try mm -hmm. taking him on a one-on-one -on -one date, he would like cry because he wants his brother and sister to go. Yeah. And then Aniston, I, I, personally, mine is her sassiness. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He loves um, it. I don't know. I think maybe it's because I feel like I'm looking in the mirror that I'm like, her and I will butt heads about things. But her favorite thing personality-wise for me is like, she's a little mama. She loves to help. Um, and that ties in with the sassiness and the bossiness. She likes to tell everybody what to do. And she's super outgoing. Like she has no problem making friends. Like she could walk up to any little boy or girl at the park and be like, hi, I'm Aniston, wanna play? 
Or if she sees a group of girls sitting at baseball playing Barbies or something, she'll totally walk up and be like, hi, I'm Aniston, can I play with you? So I love how outgoing she is because I'm not outgoing like that. So she gets that from her dad. Um, and that was from Sanaya. Oh, thank you for your question. Uh, oh, this one, Destiny. We are oh, yeah. One. She asked what Chris does for a living, but he already answered that in a different one. Um, Jesse asked, any recipes you love and recommend for a burrito bowl dinner? Uh, we've done a couple different burrito bowls, and I have found them all off of Pinterest. So um, if you want, I'll link. I'll come back and, like, reply to your comment. And if I forget, please, like message and ask me to again um, but I'll give you a couple of the links from Pinterest for some of the burrito bowls that we've tried uh, Chloe asks what do the kids want to do when they grow up um, we kind of answered that already so yeah who knows? they change all um, the time and would you let the I think say let them would you let them join the service if they wanted to absolutely um, I don't have a problem with it I was in the military my father was in the military so um, yeah, I don't have a problem with it. I think it's admirable and I think everyone for their service and I would let them do it, but I would be scared as a mom. I would be like, are you sure you don't want to do something else? <laughs> I like this question. What do you look forward to do when the Corona is over? Girls night. Girls night. hundred percent. Well, no, no. Actually a girl's day slash night. It would start off with like. Let's, I'll pick you up at like 10 a.m. We'll get some brunch. We'll do some shopping. We'll stop at dinner and have happy hour. And then we'll come back after the kids are in bed. What about you? I don't have a plan or anything. I haven't thought about it until right now. I guess I'm going on a guy's night. Okay. There we go. <laughs> um, what state do you and Chris grow up in? I'll let you go first. I grew up in Washington State. So the good old Pacific Northwest. And I do miss it. I love it. I've moved around a lot. Um, I originally grew up in Ohio. And then I lived for a few years with my aunt and uncle in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. So, And then I moved back to Ohio. So so make most of your childhood was probably Ohio. Most of it was Ohio, yeah. Um, oh, and that was from Diamond, sorry. And the, first, the question before that was from Avery. Thank you, guys. Or girls um so now i ask what is your dream job what's your dream job uh my dream job would have to be i don't know i kind of always wanted to own my own, own business so what kind of business well, or I just was, more like be your own boss yeah pretty much type thing um my dream job i don't know honestly um when I was a kid, I used to want to be a lawyer because I'm stubborn and I don't give up on things. I get in my way a lot with stuff. Um, I know it's shocking, right? That's news to you. But my dream now would be to continue doing this YouTube stuff. That way I can continue to stay home with the kids. Okay, uh, Madison asks, what do you want or wish most for your kids? And that's, for me, it's just them to be happy. I agree 100% for them to be happy. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, we have just done a well enough job that they will, when they're adults, they'll make good choices for themselves and they'll just be happy. All right. Uh, Isabella asks, what is your dream car? Mine is a 69 Dodge Charger. What color? Any color? Silver. Hmm. I know. I always knew the car. I never knew if you had a color in mind. Make mental notes. Yours? Um, well, I mean, it used to be a Range Rover, but that's not practical with three kids. I need a lot of space. So right now, it would probably either be like a Suburban or a Yukon XL or an Expedition because we need the space with all of our sports equipment. All right. Uh, Madison asks, which pregnancy was the hardest between the three kiddos? I mean, for me, the hardest pregnancy... Well, I, I actually it's four kiddos, and I would say the the hardest one is the first one. Yeah, definitely Carson was the hardest, obviously because we lost him at twenty four weeks, and we still had to go through the whole birthing process. Yeah, so like, like we went, we'll have to do a story time. Maybe that's what we can do in the next couple yeah. nights on like what happened with Carson. 
Um, so that was probably the hardest, but out of Jackson Cohen and Aniston, um, because of what happened with Carson, I was high risk for all of my pregnancies. And then I had different issues. Like I was, I had preeclampsia with Jackson. So he was, I was induced three weeks early. Um, Cohen was a pretty easy pregnancy besides just the regular morning sickness. And then Aniston was a pretty hard pregnancy. Um, I was on bed rest for a while and um, I was super sick with her. But other than that, I was pretty lucky. All right, what do you kid, what do your kids think about the pandemic? I don't think they really know what is going on. I think the um, voice Jackson just kind of knows that it's a coronavirus. Like, but I think they know it's like I've talked to them about it a little bit. I think Jackson definitely knows. Um, he watched the news with me a little bit yesterday morning. Um, Cohen is understanding it now. At first, he was really mad because they were on spring break when it all originally got like bad. So they were out of school and then it kind of turned into this like extended, mm -hmm. you know, spring break. So he wants to know like, well, why can't I go see my friends? And I keep telling him it's because of the virus. Like we can't be around anybody. So at first he had a really hard time with, you can't, like we can't have play dates. You can't go see your friends. We can't go to Nana and Papa's house. Like we can't see anybody. We have to stay home. We can go outside, but you can only interact with your family. And then Aniston doesn't really understand any of it. She just knows that TikTok sound that says it's Corona time. So she it's keeps Corona time. She keeps saying it exactly like that. <laughs> and she doesn't get it and she gets mad and she's scared and she'll ask things like, Well, can I touch my family? Because we're like, you can't be around anybody. So she doesn't really understand at all what's going on. I think Jackson gets it more like more than any of them. Mm -hmm. And then Cohen's like starting to. He doesn't ask anymore about having play dates with friends or anything like that because he kinda knows. Um, but I think the longer it goes on, the harder it's going to be on the kids, especially being out of school, just like it will be for everyone yeah. else. I mean, um, that's it for the questions. So I would say if you guys have any more questions that we didn't get to, or you think something that along this video, or if we didn't clarify anything, or yeah, or if you want more clarification on it, um, just comment down below. Um, you have anything left? No, let us know if you have, if you think we should do like a and a with each of the kids and have like, if you want us to make a post for each of them and you can ask like specific questions to Aniston, Jackson and Cohen and then have each of them do their own video and answer them. Or if you want them to do like the 10 facts about me, let us know what you guys want to see. If you'd rather them do like a and a or like a 10 facts about me type thing. Um, and then we'll try to do another Q&A again in a little while. Um, maybe give you guys some time to... Think, think of more, more questions. questions. Um, but yeah, we've got some things up our sleeve to post while we're home stuck. Yeah. So until then, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell so you know when our next videos are. And we love you guys. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Peace.